Bless this all our nation. Justice be a shield. The gear of uh, going a little bit um, into what you have been doing in South Africa, uh, I see you are into distillation yes. and uh, you make gin. Yes. And uh, what else do you make? Vodka? Well, we do that. And also, I've seen that your company uh, is right now importing. Uh, Tasca, yes. a very famous Kenyan beer yeah. to South Africa. Yeah. To tell us more, a little bit more about uh, that area, because um, <coughs> you are still in finance and you are now now a distiller. You know, uh, there is I, I think that is predominantly white, and I like disruption. I like causing some disruption. So <laughs> I said, okay, this thing, even us, we can do this. You know, like um, I'm a firm believer in um, doing what is not being done. Okay. Uh, bring change yes. uh, and I felt um, that uh, I needed to do change and I can tell you the first time I we had a meeting of um, uh, liquor brand owners association uh, in Johannesburg I went there and one white guy uh, actually called me and gave me an order of what to bring you know bring me castle light and bring me this and this and this yeah. because uh, i happen to be the only black person who was there the others were waiters and and, and the manager okay. and, and i like that space i like okay. space where you're pushing the borders you're pushing the boundaries and you're doing things that are different okay. i'll tell you here in cape town you you consume 40 percent of our products wow that's it's huge like every every week we send you uh two trucks you there's a nation together you and i and the glory of Kenya, the food of... Jumbo, welcome to Diaspora TV, SA, where we discuss issues to do with socioeconomic uh, affairs and uh, politics and Kenyan welfare in South Africa. Uh, today we are really privileged to have one of our businessmen from Kenya who is treated in Johannesburg uh, by the name Mr. J.B. Miner, well known by many folks as Mr. B. Karibu. Asante. Yeah, I would like to welcome Mr. B., uh, to introduce himself, uh, I can't agree more to his bio. The man is well, has a uh, is well versed with knowledge and experience, and I really wish to give him this time to really uh, introduce himself and tell us what, who he is. Thank you very much, PK, for having me. Yes. Uh, first, let me start by uh, giving my condolences to the Kenyan who was killed here in uh, Cape Town. Yes. Uh, condolences to the family and may the hand of God um, just give them peace. Uh, who is Mr. B? My name is James Maina Bernard. All right. And also Kagwe. Okay. Uh, I'm originally from Nakuru. Okay. Uh, went to Menengai High School. Okay. Then uh, I'm a graduate of uh, Siriba College. I mean, now it's called Maseno, Maseno University. University. Uh, I'm also a graduate of Uganda Matthias University and uh, also I'm a graduate of uh, West University Business School. Wow, that's a, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm still, I'm still in school. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm studying, currently I'm studying um, winemaking. Wow. So you are you, doing distillation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, I went through your bio and um, you, you, your career, your profession gravitate in between microfinance and uh, distillation. Yes. Uh, could you just uh, take us through that journey and, and also uh, how you came to South Africa? Right. Yes. Uh, let's start with microfinance. Yes. Um, I'm a kind of a person who likes solving problems and in particular community problems. Yes. And um, some time back in Kenya, yeah. we had um, just very few banks. Okay. We had uh, big banks, National Bank, Barclays Bank, you know, Standard Bank. And it was very difficult to get financial services there. Even to open a bank account, you needed yeah. something like 10,000, 20,000 Kenya shillings mm -hmm. as uh, a minimum deposit. Yes. And therefore, a lot of people in Kenya at that time were excluded from financial services. And uh, what I did with other people is we tried to look for ways of bridging that gap. Yeah. And so we did a lot of work with uh, SACOS to okay. grow them. Uh, I played a very key role in expansion of indigenous banks. Okay. Uh, you, you, you equity bank, you family bank. Yes. Actually, I literally took equity bank into Southern Rift. Oh, okay. 
uh, I would go there and uh, you would apply for a loan from me and I had the forms, I could open an account for you, I had the numbers and I would process your, <laughs> process your loan. Yes. So the agricultural product that they're using now yes. is something I designed. So, so uh, I also worked in um, Northern Kenya okay. with Lewa Conservancy okay. to promote uh, village banking yes. in uh, those areas. Okay. So uh, apart from that, uh, I've also done a lot of work in um, mobile money. Okay. I think I was there when a cell phone was used for the first time to conduct a financial um, transaction. Okay. You know, your e-wallet, your M-Pesa. Yeah. Uh, just before the the first one. Sometimes Kenya, we say we 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 are the first people to use <laughs> to <laughs> to use a telephone to send money yeah. through M-Pesa, yeah. but actually the first one was um, Gcash okay. in the Philippines. Oh, on the <laughs> same point, uh, mm. I saw on your bio that. Uh, you were part of the working committee organized by the World Bank, mm -hmm. where in terms of e-money. Yeah, in the development of um, uh, electronic money. Okay. Uh, so the World Bank had uh, a working committee and happened to have been uh, a big participant in that. We, okay. met, we met in New York. Yes. Uh, and just to, 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 to lay down the, 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 the background and, you know, all the structures. Oh, so right. when, when, when you take, when I see somebody send money to me via e-wallet or... <laughs> you're happy about it because <laughs> it's something that you crafted, <laughs> you're part or, of Or M-Pesa. Yes. I say, yeah, this is good. Yeah. And, and um, that is what actually brought me here. I worked very closely to expand M-Pesa in Kenya, yes. very closely with Safaricom. Yes. And therefore, when Vodacom decided that they're going to start M-Pesa here, yes. so then I was requested if I can come and provide support. So that's why I wasn't coming here. Okay. <laughs> I came to do that. Yeah. Something yeah. I think you, have, um, you, you haven't mentioned, mm -hmm. um, you're a family man. Yes, and, uh, I'm you're, married. You're a Christian. To one woman. All and right, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Now, um, on the, uh, still on your bio, mm -hmm. um, I saw that uh, you are part of uh, uh, Pioneers, the people, the, the, the people who started Harambe Sako, mm -hmm. a circle that is based in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell, tell us more about it. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of experience in uh, the circle movement. Yes. Uh, remember, we, had a, we have a circle. I still, even now, I'm still yes. a member of uh, a circle in Kenya called um, Ebony Circle. Yes. That provides, uh, enables people to acquire land to build houses. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you one thing that... Um, it's very difficult for people or communities to improve their livelihood yes. when they have no access to financial services, when they don't even have control to financial services. Yes. And I'll tell you, even here in South yes. Africa, one of the reasons why there's a lot of poverty among the black South Africans okay. is because they do not control the financial sector. It's controlled by some other yeah, people. Malema always says, you know, Malema yeah, says so that uh, there's, that, <laughs> there's that economic until the, until the black people will yeah. have their own banks, yeah. uh, then there will still be a problem. There will still be a problem because you need a financial institution that understands you, understands your background, yeah. you know. So when I came here and I saw uh, the way Kenyans were suffering, uh, I realized that there was a need to build a circle. Okay. Sasa nikaita a few people. Yeah. Uh, wengine wako Botswana, wengine wako kila mahali and we built uh Harambe Sako. Harambe Sako. Yes. So it's doing very well. Okay. Uh, it's giving loans. It has been giving loans. I think there are almost 200 people there. Yes. And the whole vision of Harambe Sako is to convert it into a mutual bank. Into. So it's not just a circle. We are yeah. going for a mutual bank. So and once we do a mutual bank, then we can be able to even do e-money. The market for e-money that uh, M-Pesa wanted to, um, to, to develop here, yes. that market is still there. That yes. need is still there. Yes. And so if we can develop Harambe into a mutual bank, yeah. then Tutafanya M-Pesa it up. Okay, well, shifting the gear, or uh, going a little bit um, into what you have been doing in South Africa, mm. uh, I see you are into distillation. Yeah. And uh, you make gin. Yes. And uh, what else do you make? Vodka? I would do that. And yeah. also I've seen that your company mm -hmm. uh, is right now importing uh, Tasca, yeah, Tasca, a very yeah. famous Kenyan beer, yeah. to South Africa. Yeah. Tell us more, a little bit more about uh, 
that theater because um, <coughs> it, it, you are still in finance and you're now now a distiller. You know, there is. A I, I, I would say I would say that uh, my professional is in fi microfinance. Yes. Uh, but um, I have a hobby in distillation. Okay. I, I like making things. Yes. When, in, when when I'm not very busy, I like make creating creating something yes. uh, and that will lead, lead me to distillation and the act of distillation is something that's very very interesting okay. it's very interesting yeah. to make alcohol <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's good it's a refresh it's yeah. a refreshment uh, after work and, and and there is and there is a need and i felt uh look that is a sector that is predominantly white and i like disruption i like causing some disruption. So <laughs> I said, okay, this thing, even as we can do this, yeah. you know, like um, I'm a firm believer in um, doing what is not being done, okay. uh, bringing change. Yes. Uh, and I felt um, that uh, I needed to do change. And I can tell you the first time I, we had a meeting of um, uh, liquor brand owners association uh, in Johannesburg. Okay. I went there and one white guy uh, actually called me and gave me an order of what to bring, you know, bring me Casolite and bring me this and this and this, yes. because I, I happen to be the only black person who was there. The others were waiters and, and, and the manager. Okay. And, and I like that space. I like okay. space where you're pushing the borders, you're pushing the boundaries, and you're doing things that are different. Okay. I'll tell you here in Cape Town, you, you consume 40% of our products. Wow, that's it's huge. Cool. Like every, every week we send you uh, two trucks. You know, we supply to about uh, 150 stores here, and 80 of them are tops, yes. including your top. <laughs> <laughs> you know, observatory. All right. Um, yeah. Just um, uh, uh, expanding on that, mm -hmm. uh, I would like you maybe to um, tell us, uh, when you are in manufacturing industry and in, in such an industry, what value do you bring to the economy? And the reason I'm saying this is that uh, I, I want to re remove the, noti the notion that foreigners are coming into South Africa to get jobs. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm saying this is very profound. You're yeah. in manufacturing. Yeah. You're creating jobs. Yeah. And if you look at the ripple effect of what you're doing, yeah. you are in manufacturing, that's one. And then you're into distribution and yeah. then into marketing. All yeah. these are chain. Mm -hmm. And these are chain employees and create value into the value addition into the economy. Yeah. Please t tell us more about it. Yeah, uh, of course, we, we create jobs. And more you are an African. We, we, yeah, um, at the factory, we have about 20 people that are working there. Okay. Uh, in the field, including here, we, we have about 100 South Africans. Yes. They're predominantly blacks. Okay. And they're only two whites. Okay. So uh, out of 100 people, 98 of them are black people that are putting food on the table. Yes. And some of them, like our, our reps in Soweto, he, they have even created other jobs. You know, they have employed, the, he has employed the wife, he has employed the nephew, the brother, you know, the yes. same with our rep in Tembisa, the yes. same in, in, in other places. So, yes, this, we're creating jobs. So we are not just here as uh, economic migrants. We're investors and we're so creating much. jobs. Th think, uh, and I, jobs I, to South Africans. Jobs to South Africans. Yeah. That's a point that... Uh, it's a very important point that, and I hope uh, the South African government and the relevant institution should recognize what you're doing in this economy. Just to, uh, the notion has, the narrative has been wrong all along, yeah. that the foreigners, more so the African, are always coming here to look for job. But look what you have done, it's a commendable job. And thank you so much yeah. for that. Um, no, and, and maybe on the same chapter, yes. um, there's some work we are doing. There is um, a chamber of commerce called Kenya South African Chamber of Commerce, yes. uh, read by uh, Moffat Lange. Okay. A and what we're doing there is promoting uh, business cooperation between Kenyan businesses and South African businesses. Wow. You know, just to just see how, where can we learn from each other. Yes. Right. Okay. Just now narrowing down into the issue of uh, Kenyans, the welfare. Yeah. Remember uh, that? You talked about Tasca. Yeah, Tasca. Oh, we haven't <laughs> spoken ab about Tasca. Wow. Yeah. Tell us more about Tasca, Paul and Ngesa How? Yeah. <laughs> Tasca was a journey. Okay. Tasca was a journey. It was a safari, ndefu, ndefu, ndefu. Yes. By I would say eight years. Okay. From the first email we wrote to Kenya Breweries okay. saying we would want to distribute you here. Yes. 
Uh, and South African Brewery said no. Look, you need to understand this. Remember there was a very big war between Kaso and Tasca in Kenya. And they were in somewhere in Lika. Yes, they had, Lika, uh, in Lika. Yes. And what you need to understand is that South African Breweries is partially owned by Diageo. Okay. Diageo partly owns Kenya Breweries. So in essence, these were siblings that were fighting, misbehaving and fighting. They were sub subsidiaries? No, they're siblings. Okay. They, 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 they share ownership. Okay, all right. Through Diageo. Oh, Diageo, okay. Um, so, so the Diageo came up with this policy where one brewery owned by the Diageo cannot take its product to another market where there is a Diageo brewery without the permission of that one. Okay? So that was the situation. Uh, and what happens here is when I came here, I had stories why Tasca cannot be sold here. I, I heard that there's somebody who has uh, registered a trademark and so many things, you know. And, <laughs> and as I told you, I, I like pushing boundaries. You know? yeah. <laughs> and I said, now, why? Why? Why can't it be sold here? Yeah. And uh, I, I embarked on that journey. And um, I met that resistance of South African brewery saying no. Uh, and we hit, a we, hit a, we hit a rock. And so what happens is I had to approach Diageo itself, their father, their owner. And I did here in Cape Town, Stellenbosch, and that's why I like this town. <laughs> it's beautiful, though so we have different it's a, weather. It's, it's a big market for us, and yes. uh, this is where also a lot of my things have been done. So yes. we sat with Diageo here, and uh, we agreed, yes, uh, let's give it a shot. So South Africa brought it then accepted, and then we had to go through the process of shipping it here. Apparently, it was very expensive to ship it by uh, ship. So we had to use the road. Uh, and when, we were, when it was coming by road, uh, it was smooth from Kenya, Tanzania, it was smooth. But when it reached Zambia, uh, then the Zambia guy said, no. Hakuna pombe inatokaga Kenya inaenda South Africa. Pombe inatokaga South Africa inaenda Kenya. They haven't, they haven't seen it. They this. said this one is not passing. Okay. So the truck was there for almost a year. I mean, I mean a week. But then um, through the intervention of the High Commission, uh, we were able to get the truck through. Okay. So yeah, finally we got Tasca here and it's a variable here. It's uh, I must say it, the biggest market is again here. It's you, in Cape you, Town. The, you the people that are drinking that thing. Um, it's retailing for our, uh, for a six pack is about 210. Yes. And for a can is yeah. 40 rand. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they're, they're, is it? Something that in I'm, not, I'm not sure how yeah. much they. Uh, I've bought. I'm was. a consumer of alcohol, yeah. so I've always bought a, yeah. a few uh, Tasca. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. Fine worth. product. The, yeah. You know, it's Kenyan made. Yeah. Uh, every time I'm in Kenya, I always take Tasca. I love Tasca, yeah. and it, it just reminds you the you know it make you be nostalgic about your about your country. Yeah. So it, it's always good, and it, it, you have done a commendable job and Thank a massive. You. Thank you so much, Mr. B. Thank you. That's that's, a, that's <laughs> really your daring. I must say you're daring. You are one of those Kenyans who are daring, you know, uh, venturing into this market and really fighting with the big boys because I'm yeah. sure your competitors are not, uh, they are quite massive financially yeah. and they in terms of market share. Yeah. Well, um, shifting and narrowing down mm -hmm. into the topic today, uh, I, I want us to briefly, um, I've seen that uh, you belong, you, you love social and cultural, um, cultural, uh, um, activities and uh, things to do with Kenyans. And I've seen that you are part of um, Mwakiwa Azania. Yes, sir. Uh, are you a patron or you a member? Um, among the founding members. F founding members. Yes. Uh, just briefly tell us and um, what it's all about. I know there are things you, you are not allowed to speak much, <laughs> but just tell us and for mm. you to recruit new members. And actually, we were talking with Alan. Mm -hmm. uh, what you have started in Joburg, mm -hmm. Joburg always will be our big, big brother. Mm -hmm. uh, and then before the other things come down here. Mm -hmm. uh, are you planning to expand membership to Western Cape and recruit members? Yeah, just take us through the, the explanation uh, of what is Azania, what was Azania. Uh, this is, um, is the Kikuyu Council of Elders. Okay. Remember, we're Africans and what defines us is our cultures, is our heritage, is our traditions. Uh, and that's why I think this is the Heritage Month, or last month, it was the Heritage Month. It so it's very important for us to keep our cultures, yes. to keep our heritage. Even when you move to uh, another country, 
it's important for you to continue your culture. Yes. Uh, and you realize that our culture as Africans are the same. I mean, if you if you look at uh, the, 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 the if you look at the, the Zulus, uh, the Kosas, you yeah. find that they have elements. They have councils of elders too. Yeah. So uh, Mwakiwazania is a council of Kiku elders. Okay. And uh, when you are born as a boy, a Kikuyu boy, yes. there are stages you go through. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Uh, and the final stages is that then you become a Kikuyu elder. And during the, our meetings that we hold uh, every now and then, we talk about culture. It's about culture. Is how do you treat your family? How do you bring up your family? How do you deal with this? How do you do it? It, it is just to make sure that you grow into that straight man that you are supposed to do, yes. a person who is in charge of his family and a person who is taking care of his family. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's teaching. There's nothing funny that happens there. It's actually teaching. You are made to be a good person. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, just before we shift to the gear, Mm -hmm. On the studio, I am with my co-hosters, uh, Bona Alan Kago and uh, Bona Paul Kagiri. Uh, we always uh, host the, 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 the show together. Okay. Um, I would just like to welcome Mr. Kago uh, to introduce himself and tell us, um, just add something, and also Mr. Paul Kagiri to add something before we shift to the next topic where it's a main, the main reason why Mr. B is here, is eyeing for the big city in Kedessa. So welcome, Mr. Alan. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yes, I'm uh, Kurukago. And uh, yeah, uh, to touch a little bit about Kedasa, we uh, in Free State uh, region, we had our election on Monday. And uh, we happened to elect... Must say Pongezi. Ah, thank you very much. It was much. a very close <laughs> race. You <laughs> won. It was a very <laughs> tough one, you know. And, uh, and the victory was sweet. And, yes. Uh, and uh, I want to echo what Mr. B is saying. Yes. Uh, I don't think uh, Kedasa is more about us being leaders or the hunger for leadership. Yes. It's all about making change, you know. We have seen a vacuum that uh, uh, Kedasa was supposed to exploit in the last few years uh, for our community, but it was not happening. So I was even having a conversation with Mr. B last night, and uh, he told me, like, it's not about who is going to be the chairman. It's not about who is going to be in the top nine. Yes. It's all about whether in the next two years, is Kedasa going to deliver to uh, uh, the Kenyan? You can see in the WhatsApp group there, there is a lot of hunger. There is a lot of uh, desperation from uh, our, 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 our citizen from Kenya. Yes. You know, they want proper leadership when it comes to the uh, national uh, Kedasa uh, structure. And that's why we are here. And uh, thank you very much, Mr. B, for coming to Cape Town. And, uh, and I'm you. happy that we're having this podcast uh, today. Thank you very much. Asante. Mr. Paul Kagiri. Yeah. Karibu. Paul Kagiri, I'm um, one of the leaders in Cape Town. I would say that uh, today we are privileged, or we are privileged to have one of our leaders. And uh, more to that, I would like to hear Mr. B because uh, we have seen him talk about how he can improve our livelihood here as community. He has also spoken up before about promoting cooperation as well. He has also uh, <coughs> mentioned about how he can. Uh, qualify for us to do standards of good business. He also uh, um, uh, spoke about Kedasa, NWC, which should be expanded in the whole of South Africa. So those are the few things that I would like um, probably Mr. B to touch on. Okay. So that maybe we may understand. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Mr. Paul Kagiri. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I, uh, we, we shift the gear to the next agenda, I would like to recognize one of the contestants contesting for the seat in Western Cape, uh, Toili Wabomba. Karibu, wave to the viewers. Yeah, that's Mr. Toidi, he's uh, one of the leaders in Western Cape. And thank you for coming. We and really my, want... And my, my Nakuru homeboy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, the same village. <laughs> <laughs> Freehold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you mtasema, you may attend. Okay. Sawa, sawa. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Mr. Uh, Paul. Um, uh, Buona, Mr. Mr. B. You are eyeing for the highest seat in Kedessa. Why? What the need? Um, because I feel we have had a leadership gap. Okay. Yes. You know, so um, I, I, we've had a leadership yes. gap in this in this country. What we could have to Ethiopia. Yes. 
wamekuja wametupita kama basi tumesimama tu hapa si stagnant si tuko stagnant yes. na ni kwa sababu hatujakuwa na servant leadership hatujakuwa na servant leadership yes. na nikaona because sasa ni nina, nina wakati biashara inaendelea mzuri yes. uh, nikaona sasa niko na time yes. pengine ya kufanya kazi na watu yes. i have four point agenda okay. so i'll just give you the bullet form then we can expand on them okay the first one is to promote um, to, to increase the number of kenyans that have legal papers in south africa the number of kenyans that are legally in south africa we so don't that's want migration immigration issues okay. that's one okay the second one is livelihood improvement by promoting access to finance mm -hmm. and economic opportunities i will expand on that okay uh, the third one is closer cooperation between the high commissioner the high commission yes the state department for diaspora affairs okay and the central government and us Kenyans that are living here. Okay. Uh, and the fourth one is that Kidesa's NWC has excluded a lot of Kenyans, a lot of sectors. When so it say, needs to be reformed. When you say Kidesa NWC, for the viewer who might not understand, please tell Nash us. Kidesa National Working Committee. Okay. Wale watu watatu mulichagua kwa province. Wale watu mulichagua watatu watatu kwa province. Okay. Wakikuja pamoja, ndiyo inaitua Kidesa National Working Committee. NWC. So that means the chairman in, the, chair, in the regional, the, chair, the vice chair, and the, the rep. neck rep. Wale watatu. Okay. Combine pamoja yon diyo NWC. Sasa ili NWC inapaso kuongezeka. Okay. Kuongeze student, tuongeze professionals, tuongeze people with disability. It needs to be expanded. So those are my four points. Sasa unataka to expound ama zimetosha. So, no, because of time, because of time, um, I'll take you a little bit back mm -hmm. on your bio. Okay. You say that uh, you were one of those Kenyans that he, were assisting the internally displaced Kenyans in Nakuru, who lived to uh, acquire land and property during the clashes. Yes. After clashes. So they were internally displaced. We call them internal displays uh, idps idps but it's not just idps uh -huh. even other kenyans even other kenyans uh, briefly and the reason why i'm asking you to to give us uh, this narration or this story mm -hmm. we want to see uh, the viewer to make a decision mm -hmm. uh, whether you are suit whether you can borrow that uh, vast knowledge and experience mm -hmm. to what we actually experiencing here mm -hmm. because most of our kenyans here they have issues with the migration the paper mm -hmm. Uh, some of them are not able to go home properly mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, visit Kenya and come back. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, issues that you spoke about is promotion and cooperation. Yes. And uh, I think the common one is more worried about the immigration a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, improving their livelihood. Yes. So um, just give us that narration of IDPs in Kenya, yes. then we can, we, can, we can come back to, the, to your agenda. Okay, the post-election violence came when we were busy with other microfinance issues. Yes. Uh, and so let me start from what we were doing when the violence came in. Okay. Uh, we had this circle that is still there, it's called Ebony Circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was happening there is that we were providing funding for people to uh, improve their businesses. Yes. And then all of a sudden we realized that uh, people were having problems and difficulties to repay their loans because they were spending a very huge part of their income to pay rent. Okay. Okay, kumbuka Kenya zamani vile ilikuwa. Tulikuwa na sako, sako zilikuwa za, za, za employee sako. Yes. Teacher sako, <clears throat> nurses, uh, I don't know who, who zilikuwa za employees based. Yes. Watu wa biashara hawakuwa na, hawakuwa na sako. Yes. Zilikuwa ni za walimu na watu tungine professionals. Okay. Sasa mtu wa biashara ambaye hawezi kupata pesa, hawezi kupata mkopo bakris, alikuwa naachwa wapi. Sasa tuka, tuka, tuka tengeneza hizo microfinance institution. Okay. Na, so what we were doing in this circle, after to realize that people have a problem of paying, I mean, of paying their loans because they are spending a lot of money in household, I mean, yes. in paying rent. We said, okay, why don't we then make that a project also? So, tutukua tunanua shamba kama ni 10 acres. Yes. Inakua divided into 78 plots. 
watu wanapewa hizo plots wanaambiwa umepoa mwaka moja ama miaka miwili like this there was a particular one tulikuwa tunauza hiyo plot hiyo 60000 ya Kenya okay akilipa 1300 anapiga fence na anaanza kujenga okay na unajua Kenya vile tunajengaga yes. pale pembeni tunatengeneza kanyumba kama tope <laughs> tukipata pesa tunakapiga simiti kana kuwa semi permanent yes. lakini pale tumewacha space tunaanza yeah. kumwaga mawe pole 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 na tutajenga kimansion Okay so we st- that what That's they were doing. Yes. Na haijaisha. Uh-huh. Still going on. Eh, kuna video nitakutumia wamenitumia jana. Okay. Wanasema sasa wanataka tuweke street rights. Wow. So it is still it's an ongoing thing here team. Okay. We are fighting street rights. So yes. we were doing those things. We are doing that. And yes. then post election violence came. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now we had to accommodate people and we had to stop the fight. Sababu kumbuka tukiwa pale kwa sako tuko na wakalinji ambao wanapigana na wakikuyu mm-hmm. those were still our members and it was not good yes mnapiga sasa mkikuja hata kwa sako yes. mnataka kuleta hizo vita so we had to play a role in stopping the violence okay and in settling people that were affected by the violence yes yeah so we mobilized funds mm-hmm. and uh, across the world uh, and the, the then american ambassador to kenya Michael Renberger yes. himself flew to Nakuru to hand over these funds to the people. I must say I've seen a photo of you and him. <laughs> so I don't know where they got that photo from. <laughs> I saw it on <laughs> the okay, that's how but, but, but they say internet doesn't forget. Yes. But yeah, it's true. That that occasion happened in a place called Kabachia in yes. Nakuru. That's where our offices were. Okay. And he came and handed over that donation to the people. Okay. Uh well, um now with that vast amount of experience and knowledge and you are eyeing for the seat of Kedesa and this way now I bring in uh, <coughs> Mr. Alan Kago to just touch in something on uh, do you what do you what do you assess of the situation uh, actually uh, for me and uh, I think the question is going to uh, to Mr. B here actually it's not a question it's just a, uh, to say that what we are looking into Kedesa is somebody who can come in with such experience you know and uh, as mr b said it's not coming to kedasa to make money because i don't even think there is uh, much money to make in kedasa because there is not even a salary or anything okay we're coming to spend <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're coming to spend. yes you're coming you're coming to spend actually and uh, and i believe with that experience you know he have in microfinance the experience that he have in business you know the experience you have in the community you know not only here in south africa going way back even to kenya with post election violence and everything um i, I believe and i hope that uh, the kenyans uh, can see who mr b is yes. because i i believe uh, a lot of people they haven't uh, had him talking they haven't uh, got a chance to hear him talk from the horse's mouth yes and i i believe this is a great opportunity you know from the things that uh, he have covered on his bio you can see uh this is a man that can bring the much needed uh change yes. uh that we are looking to in uh, kedasa you know yeah that's what i can uh, say bon- bonapol kakiri um, your sentiment would yeah. you like to I-, i would add something uh, that talon has spoken about him you see i think it'll be very tough this time when people contest on top yes because you can hear what uh, mr b is telling us today yes what he has done what he want to do So I think uh, we have a leader who is uh, having a lot of caliber. Yes. And I think this is what you are looking for. You're so looking for the experience. You believe you believe um what you're saying you, we need a man of the people. We need a man yeah. who is able to deliver those um, uh, manifesto the agenda point and in the second segment now is where we are going to into depth and we would like to give Mr B yeah. uh, the chance to really expand on how he is going to accomplish his, um, his his manifestos on these four agendas that is immigration yeah. uh, livelihood expansion that is in terms of uh, helping Kenyan access funds and uh, you know um, the other one was uh, what was it it was a uh, ex- uh, financial access and um, improve economic em- empowerment yeah. uh, those two agendas i think most kenyans in south africa the common one 
you know, the, the, the man down there, mm. the man who is struggling like any other South African, yeah. those two are the most important to him. Yeah. The others come in now in the middle, yeah. someone who has a car, someone who has a house in, in South Africa, mm. and now these are now, the, the people now want to expand. Now, that's when now you come in again, and I really like your agenda. Mm. Now you're talking about promoting cooperation between the High Commission, yeah. diaspora, and the central government. That is a brilliant idea, and I really wish to you to really expand on that. And then the most important thing, and now that bring now the issue of inclusivity and gender equality. Don't don't forget about the gender issue, which we need to, to really incorporate in the National Working Committee of Kedessa. Yeah. Uh, that's the fourth agenda. Yes. It's a brilliant ideas and vision that you have. And I'm wishing you all the best. And we need, we need women reps there. Win, 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 <laughs> women reps. And people with technical know-how. Yeah. You know, because, um, and this is what I've always been saying even in my campaign as I'm yeah. contesting. Yeah. Uh, we, we need... We need, some, if it's an issue to do with migration, yeah. can we have a Kenyan who is a lawyer, who mm -hmm. has dealt with issues to do with migration? I believe there are a number of Kenyans uh, who are lawyers in South Africa, who can uh, uh, practice in South Africa. Yeah. And uh, when you're talking about treasury also, yeah. can mm -hmm. we have someone, it doesn't have to be necessarily me, mm -hmm. another accountant who is qualified yeah. as an accountant yeah. to deal with matter to, you know, compliance, issues of compliance and, and yeah. you know, legal yeah. matters in yeah. terms of company act. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> the other issue, so those four agendas, um, uh, we, when we take break, I think our time f for the first segment is almost done. Uh, when we come back now, mm -hmm. is when now we tackle these four agendas one by one. Good. We, are, we'll be, we, will, we will be right back. Uh, welcome back. And now we are going to tackle the issues of what uh, Mr. Uh, uh, B, Mr. B has spoken about uh, briefly. And before we go to the main vision, your mm -hmm. four-point bulletin, mm -hmm. um, I would like to ask you, since you have told us what, why you need to, you are vying for this seat, mm -hmm. what synergy, if you win, if you mm -hmm. win, mm -hmm. hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. what synergy will you bring in with your, with your new team? Mm -hmm. And are you willing, will you be working as a team? I mean, just briefly, just touch on that. Yeah, I, I intend to literally work with everybody. Yes. Uh, the people that will be in the NWC. Okay. Uh, the people that will not be NWC, yes. we will have to work with everybody, whether they are religious people, whether they are business people, whether they are professional people. This thing, we, we are so backward that we need everybody on the ball. On board. Everybody on board, everybody on the ball. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, then the other point I would like you to touch on, because most Kenyans that are here, the common one, again, mm. they believe the Kenya High Commission on a deal with consular services. Mm. Could you just explain to us, in a common layman's language, mm. what the embassy does, although you don't work for the embassy, <laughs> yeah. but I'm sure- I know they're mandated. Yes, you, you have, you have uh, really dealt with them, yeah. and you understand the most of the aspects, so that the common one, uh, the Kenyan living in South Africa, then they understand, and they see the need for Kedasa, and how Kedasa will work for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the High Commission is actually the government in here okay uh, consular service is just a sec a small section of okay. the embassy yes so otherwise it, it's the government you know there are people that are looking after education there are people that are looking after trade there are people that are looking after even security yes so there, there are all sorts of people there so yes. when you hear and you have issues to do with education uh there's an education attache there yes if you have issues to do with security there's a security attache you know, there's a trade attache, there, 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 there's so many people that are working there okay. that have different things. So when, when you see that embassy, it's a government, and that is why when Tasca was stuck in Zambia, yes. where do I go? I go to the government. Okay. So I went to the embassy, and the embassy had to call the Kenyan High Commission in Zambia to intervene because the problem was in Zambia. So the, these guys are there for that kind of a thing. So, usikuwe muna kufa kufa huko na problems. Oh, actually, what you're saying... <laughs> Unangonjia una tu embassy kuje kupea na documents. Yes. Na they have a lot of other things that they can help. Okay. And akitu kimoja we agreed. And maybe I'll talk, to the, I'll talk about that yes. at, um, when we're dealing with business. What thing we have agreed with the High Commission? Zile biashara za Kenya ziko hapa. Tutaweka link, wataweka link into the website. Okay. So that if you're looking for a certain thing, kutoka kwa 
Kenyan businesses. Yes. Then you click into that link kwa website ya High Commission yes. na inakupeleka to the website of that company. All right. So that will also be a way of advertising or promoting Kenyan businesses that are based here. Okay. And now, um, before again, I'll still, there's something that has popped in. I'm just trying to have, prepare the viewer mm. on the matters of the agenda. Mm. Uh, why would you say the, la, the current regime mm -hmm. in Kidasa mm -hmm. has failed? What are the issues that maybe were not done properly? And what are the issues you as the incoming, again, hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. saying that you're going to win and I'm wishing you all the best you win, <laughs> that you do differently? <coughs> what will you do differently? Uh, maybe I can talk about what I would do. Uh, what, okay, what don't speak about what you do. Speak about what was not done so that we can come to your agenda. I think if I may be very truthful, yes. uh, I think the only thing I see, because remember I was in the first Kidesa that was set up by Dr. Shomba. Okay. And uh, there is what we agreed is the direction of the institution that will go. Okay. Uh, when the second regime was elected, they never took that line. They never took that road. And I don't know what has been done because I, we, I was among the people that were chased there. But what I know, what I can see was done and uh, <coughs> is true. The initial Kidesa was focused around uh, Houghton. I mean, we had to start somewhere. Oh, yes, uh, we could not start including people here when we didn't know them. Remember, I took out on Juan. So, mm -hmm. you refer your parish in Johannesburg. Yes. Now, Kitu Kimboja, that this in outgoing regime, Irifanya, it expand. Sasa tuko na watu wa Cape Town, tuko na watu wa KZN, tuko na watu wa Free State. At least that expansion. That was read by Kamato. That was done by Kamato. <coughs> so, and it's good we give them credit okay. on that. All right. About what they didn't do, uh, they never brought us together. <laughs> it's a failure. It's a failure. So yeah. we never we never addressed the challenges. Yes. Because you see, when when people meet and identify their challenges, then the challenges are halfway done. They are halfway solved. Okay. By just people meeting oh, and true. identifying this is our challenge. Yes. It's a half done. So half that done. I don't think that was done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now let's go to the main your yeah. vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first point you mentioned, or the first point you really want to expand on, mm -hmm. is the issue of immigration. Yeah. What will your leadership do on immigration? Uh, <coughs> first, I want to approach it from the back okay. <laughs> and say that um, I have four point agenda. So yes. there is immigration, there is, um, um, th th there is uh, cooperation with the government, yes. there is expanding the NWC. Yes. But out of my four agenda, the most important agenda is the second agenda. Access, promoting access to finance, okay. and economic okay. opportunities. Let's start on that one. Uh, and because that is the what, that's yeah. what, that's what I think that's what most Kenyans want. Kumbukini tumekuja haba kutafta. Nyukweli. Tumekuja kutafta haba. Yes. Na sababu tumekuja kutafta, tumekuja kutafta ela. So, kama hauna unafanya biashara na hauna access to finance, yes. uwezi kupata kalone kaku expand biashara. Ama huwezi kupata a business opportunity. Ndiyo huwezi kuiendesha na huwezi kupata ajira. If we don't have those two things, uh, ata ukipewa yu immigration, uh, haita kusaidia. And me what I know, if tunaweza kuimprove biashara za watu, tuweza kuimprove their economic well-being. Empowerment. Empowerment, economically. <coughs> watu watakuwa na ability, hata ya kuenda kwa home affairs, I say me, niko na access ya 5 million. I have a property. Niko na property, niko na hii. Munipati a business permit, I'm a business PR. Yes. Uh, that's really where I want us to focus on. <coughs> because of this, uh, ukiangalia kama wacha niseme vile wa China wanafanya. Okay. The Chinese? Yes, the Chinese. Wanafanya hivi. They have their own financial institutions that operate here and operate in China, and operate in every other country. So when a Chinese migrant comes here, ama before even he comes here, zile financial institution, anawekio ile 5 million. Ni show money. Arafu anafanya application yake, ya business PR, ama business permit. Akisa submit application, ikikuwa processed, ile pesa anarudisha tena, na interest. Hatumi, 
Itazani pesa ni show money. Okay. Hakuna kama zingine na itu. <laughs> Inaenda kwa mwingine na mwingine inazunguka 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 kwa wao na bado wanaendelea kuingia. So this is this is an <coughs> empowerment is a circle. This is something that is happening. Yes. That is something uh, kuna, kuna kuna mchina who has just bought a, a liquor store that are supplied to in in Johannesburg. Yes. And he just came last year and he has all this paper. So I asked him how did you do it? Because when you empower people what you are saying actually if our people are empowered they can own business. Yes. Because um and, and this what happened is that you look this try small business they are not working yeah they're not and they're now they can't expand but they can't they expand. Are, and then remember <coughs> the foreigners in this country yeah. the bank will not give them the loans they do not talk to you so i think our kenyan government must open their eyes and see that they need to empower the kenyans because again kenyan uh, in diaspora remit a lot of foreign exchange back to kenya yeah like like, like in pk yeah. to give them kenya to empower yeah ai hawa jamaa watakuwa wanakujia tax <laughs> wanakujia tax hey, okay <coughs> sisi wenyewe to empower we will have to empower <coughs> ourselves sisi wenyewe will have to empower ourselves na mimi kama mr b mm -hmm. to me strengthening institutions kama harambe sako okay to me will be more important than even what we are doing here in kides strengthening the circle then why not expanding, open a circle ex expanding whether, whether whether you're going to open another one or you're going to strengthen this yes <laughs> and and i know tunakuwaga na mambo ya trust issues yes you will like sana kutupiana matope ya trust issues my suggestion would be this that we need to create a circle either we even though we we strengthen this one that we already have or we create another one sijui mtasema tufanye nini but this is how i would look at it mumechagua to, to address trust issue because easy trust issues ndio zinafanyaga we are not going anywhere you have elected three people in every province the nwc nwc yes from every province yes let's take for example to say maybe we want to strengthen harambe for Saku, example for example yeah to deal with trust issues our watu watatu mumechagua in every province wakuja wafanywe directors wa harambe wakifanywa directors wa Harambe kama ni watu wa Western Cape hao watatu mmechagua ambao wamefanywa directors wa Harambe na ndio mlichagua kama ya your representative yes waende kwa bank mhm mm wafungue account ya Harambe yeah. ya Western Cape ya Western Cape pesa yenu muweke hapo amuleti job bag okay free state wa Fasi then the people that Eastern Cape have, uh, all over yes exactly Umalanga, exactly all exactly. Kenyans all over exactly because remember now when you, we, tukifanya hivyo This is we we want to start we want to create a cooperative bank that's what tunataka kuunda bank up okay na hiyo mambo ya bank ndio ilifanya tukapigana na hiki desa ya zamani wakati nilisema no we must create a bank because yeah. kupigiwa up okay. and i still insist we must create this bank uh, tukifika watu 200 na hawa watu 200 wako na shares ya 1 million tutaweza kuregister something in south africa that is called cooperative financial institution CFI CFI okay okay na CFI sasa ndio uko na ile full circle registration hiyo ndio ile tunaitaka circle kwetu okay okay umas register CFI 200 people 1 million kutoka hapo we grow that circle to a point where itafika 10 million in shares 200 people or more with 10 million or more in shares tukifika hapo then we can now transform the CFI to a cooperative bank. Okay. That will be a bank now. That will be a bank. It will be a, it will be a bank. There are few, there are about seven or so in South Africa. Mm -hmm. That will be a bank. Na tukiwa hivyo sasa watu watu our people have access to finance. Tuta guarantee each other. Kama sio ku guarantee each other because it's already registered you na iko. If it's a bank you can give a security. It will be a security. Yes. Unaona? Yeah. Na hutaitishwa hivi tuingie mingi na itisha kwa wapi permit yako wapi sijui wapi yeah. nini nini those things so people will have access to finance and when people have access to finance then we can now start saying okay now you have finance. Okay? What business opportunities are there? Are there? And I'm telling you this country and Africa and Africa in ground. general is full of opportunities the opportunities is only that and i see them i see them i see them na, na, na pengine tukishamalizana na hii mambo ya kidesa yes. wakati tume settle down yes uh, i would want us to have forums kama hizi where we are talking businesses how do you start a business how how do you what factors do you consider when you're starting a business yes. where should you start a business yes. yeah those opportunities those opportunities yeah? <coughs> na tusilale jamani mliona ile kitu niliwaekea leo asubuhi ambapo kra na 
KEBS. KEBS, the Kenya Bureau of Standards. Yes. Yes. Uh, wanaongea na wa South Africa, wanawapia tips, ya yeah, standards. If you want to import from Kenya, this is the standard. Kuna watu walileta hapa avocado, lakini hawakujua rajua standard za South Africa. And now, on that <coughs> point, I think Kedesa need to be strong. The leader, the, the, the chairman, <coughs> the one that has the vision of the of the organization has to be able to have nego, nego, negotiating skills to negotiate and channel all that kind of opportunity to deal with Kedaza. Because I think why not us? Why yes, not and, 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 and how I see it is that it's not even it's not even the chairman. The NWC must have committees. Yeah, the, working committees. Working committees. So we should have a committee that is dealing with trade and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Another committee that is dealing with migration and you know the like specifically. Mm -hmm. And why we are saying we must expand this NWC so that we also bring in people with skills, resources. Knowledge, yeah. You know knowledge. Yes. So if we are talking if we come to Nakamatia immigration, then we need an immigration lawyer there. We need an immigration lawyer. Yes. Tukikuja kwa trade, hapa tunaongea tuna mambo ya import, export. We need somebody ya kuna knowledge ya customs na those kind of things. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, to me that's a nutshell. That's really where we need to be. We need to concentrate on economic empowerment. Of our Tukifanya people. Tukifanya economic empowerment. <coughs> These other small issues of immigration. Tutapata njia. Tushimu ni tuingi sana. I'm, I'm sure if, if, if given you people are empowered, yeah. the issue of immigration now become... Uh, manageable. It's manageable. Yes. It's manageable. Because we still need it, it, to be to adhere with the law and the regulation of the of, uh, of the know, country. Of the country. Of because the country. this is an autonomous country. It's, it's on its own. Yes. And uh, we are not South African. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure we you know we can still work within the framework of you know of, of, of law of, of the law. Yes. So coming back to the circle, circle now we create a fund. What we chukue loans? What we chukue loans? We fanya mabiashara. Lakini pia to create a fund, you show money. Ulatakiwa 5 million. Na unajua 5 million hata ikuwa kikashi. It's in asset. It's in asset, it's in anything. It's, it's a chartered accountant that could just say, this guy can access 5 million. Okay. Like, you, say, like, like, like you said, Kedasa can access 100 million. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I said can. 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 Meaning. Because, because there's a lot of donor funding. There's a lot of funding for investment. Hata hapa kwenyu hapa, kuna kampuna eretu symbiotic. Wako hapa based in Cape Town. Okay. Wana to fund baka huko Kenya from here, Cape Town. Okay. Uh, Bwana Kagiri, uh, yeah. you, you want to add something on the issue of immigration before uh, I request Alan also to add something and we shift to the next uh, uh, agenda? I, think I would just say, I don't know what uh, Mr. B has said. Eh? Yes. Uh, when he spoke about the empowerment yeah. of, of, of us, we just need um, a good leadership that actually will create uh, a desired impact that will now counter all these issues that we have at the moment as a community. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let, 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 let me add something else that Kidasa, I feel it should, to Mwongia Mambo Economic Empowerment, mm -hmm. yeah. we, we, we in agreement. When we come to things come like migration, uh, sometimes in Askizaga wa Kenya, unasikia, uh, kaba juzi, <coughs> last week nimepigua simu na mkenya mbaya, amefika kwa airport, ameambiwa wako na overstay, uwe zingia. <coughs> as much as that is the law, Kitu moja tunapaswa kujua ni kuwa, the Kenya High Commission can ask to see any South African cabinet minister. They can go to Mswaledi, they can go to Home Affairs and raise your issue. Wewe, fire your cargo, fire your nanny, fire who you Because it's government. It's government. They can, they can raise those. Yes. But it is Kidesa that we will have to push this High Commission. Kumbuka watu wa meandiku wa kazi wako na mshahara. See at where Mukongoja, Sasan, where when you tapereka your issues, Uko? Yeah. To echo pressure? Yes. To say, Mapa, to these five files. I want to Wangali do remember. And you see, as I said, I keep saying, Kenyans have a very good name in South Africa. Yeah. Do you know we have the highest, if not one of the highest, visa allocation into South Africa from any African country? Is it? Yes. They look at us very favorably. Okay. Lakini sisi, we don't, we are unable to convert that to our advantage. We are unable to do that. You know? And so those are the and things that create... When you say we are unable to do that, uh, I think the issue is that our people are not empowered and we need mm. forums. Mm. Kendesa yeah. should pray the law of <coughs> educating our people and like more like civil education you know yeah. forums we don't have a for we, we previously we never had a forum and mm. that's why we called you to the forum so that you can educate our people let mm. the people know 
they say knowledge is power, you know. Yeah. Once you have the knowledge and the, uh, that information, information yeah. is power. Yeah. Once you have the information, then you can be able to use it. You're empowered. By, and to empower yourself. Yes. And I, I, I don't want to ask dwell so much on that point. I think you have really uh, done well in uh, expanding. Only that I... Um, but in the case of the case of the immigration, yes. Kedesa will have to form a committee. Yeah, that's why I wanted, professional committee. I wanted you to tackle that and yeah. the immigration, okay. and the agenda right. of immigration. Right. And uh, Alan, you okay or you want to... Uh, you know what, just to add on what Mr. B said, yes. uh, 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 PK, I don't know whether you have even noticed that yes. a majority of Kenyans and, uh, and a majority of Kenyans visas that we get in this country uh, in terms of permits are not like a business permit, they are relative permits because that is the cheapest way to of getting be legally a, or, or, here. Uh, to be legal here yes. and, 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 and the only permit you can get without any, any kind of a, a, a show money. But that, that so what, Mr. what Mr. B is saying, if you go to the Chinese uh, nations, for them they don't go for those permits because they have government which can come and put some money aside as a show money, as he's saying, and, and then you end up qualifying for... I, I, and you see, now, mm. and this is so wrong, mm. because we are in Africa, and Africans, we are not empowering ourselves. Because when you're given a relative permit, that permit has restrictions. Yeah. You can't work, you can't find work. Mm. And uh, mostly Kenyans, I, 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 because the show is, will be seen by many, but mm. I just want to see Kenyans. Mm. Most Kenyans don't come here to be employed. Mm. They come here to create employment. Mm. Is that not so? Yeah, so <coughs> if you are given a relative permit, it restricts you. Mm. You cannot expand. Actually, they don't even come here to make... You know a relative uh, permit is, is a family permit. It's a fam yeah. So fam you come here with your family, <laughs> but now the only way you can get a permit is getting another family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you wanted to say something? Or ah, no, no, okay. no, I'm done. So yeah. anyway, now, Mr. B, uh, let us tackle the issue of immigration. What will your leadership help Kenyans on this matter? I think we will have to come up. Then the, the, the Kidesa NWC. And you know what I mean? Rudy Paraco NWC. NWC yes. Yes. And I want to tell the 31 people that were Mechaguliwa, what a Chaguliwa call you NWC. Yes. He got it on a school message word. He got his here to chairman, I'm a secretary general. general. With Nascuma, we are that one driver's pal and Yes. And it's very important. Kidesa will have to form a specialized committee mm -hmm. that will assist Kenyans to access legal papers. First of all, as you say, this lack of information. So you don't know which permit. You don't know how to apply it. You don't know where to apply it. You don't know what is the process. Na sa ingine tu nakataga tu kusawa magonda kwa zoma website. I think it's because <laughs> you know, the information and the forms. Yeah. You, you know, some people don't like uh, reading. You know. Yeah. Now Kidesa will have to have an office. It will have to have staff, and people will have to uh, call in and say, "Okay, I have this problem, and uh, we have to see how it, it has to be helped." People have to be helped. Took na watu wako kwa vilist, watu wako na overstay, kuna watu wako na makwere. And you know you can move from makwere to a permit. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know that. Yeah. So, the, but they don't have this information. So we need to give people information. Kuna watu hawajui, kama sasa structure ya home affairs. Kuna wano ki apply permit hapa. Na mimi nienda ni apply permit Nairobi. Ya Nairobi itatoka mbele. Yeah. Yeah. Because home affairs work on a full no, department. Mm. Yeah. Work on a full <coughs> department in a in a foreign applications. Yes. Mm. It's, you, you permit you to talk a faster, cooler than HAP. People don't know this information. Mm. So I think the first thing that will have to be done is people will have to be given information. Yes. That's why we need a specialized committee. The second thing <coughs> is that we will have to do an audit of our people. Because now we are just talking about papers, but now like what? <laughs> Who has a problem? What is the problem? We will have to have this data bank of what are we dealing with. Then from there, then we can see, okay, how can this be solved? How can this be solved? So what you are saying, you want, you need to have an operation or kind of an office yes. that is operating. <coughs> yes. And, and he's speaking data. He's, he's, speaking he's, data. He's speaking data with employees. Yes. And uh, then, for you to do that, I would assume then, you, the issue now comes again. You can't do that without funds. Yes. Now, where do you start? 
Uh, I think fans to me is 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 not is the easy thing. Is it? Yes. Remember the previous the previous regime uh, never had fans. Let, let me first of all say this. Uh, as far as I know, Kidesa doesn't have fans. Now I want to pigania you chaguzi. Ujue kama unatoka ka Cape Town na unatoka wapi utakuwa unapanda ndege na pesa yako. Yes. Utakuwa unalipa hoteli na pesa yako. That hii kitu haina hela. Haina mm -hmm. hela. Na hakuna ati watu wanaendaka mkutano <coughs> kwa high commission ati mnapewa maallowance hakuna kitu kama. Mm -hmm. There is no money there na hakuna pesa utakuwa unapewa you be using your funds mm -hmm. because hii kidesa hata haina hela. Haina funds. But then if kidesa can structure itself it's it 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 deliver real change. Let's say you are helping m illegal migrants to become legal. Legal, yes. You know, uh, there are funds. There is the International Council for Refugees. There are funds. The UN has funds for those things. Okay. Y you know, yeah. it has funds yeah, for those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. But then you must show value that this is what we are doing. Kumbuka kuna watu wanapewa hizi permit za refugees. That international body ambayo inapeana hizo is 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 papers ina support your mambo. See, it's a UN body. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. a UN body. Yes. Sasa wakiambiwa, if we structure ourselves na tuwambie sasa, how watu mumepea makuwele hawa? Sasa we want to change them to legal. And because Kidesa is an NPO. Is an NPO, is it? Yeah, it's an NPO. It's a non-profit uh, organization. Uh, yeah, and uh, what you call community-based uh, organization. organization. There's a lot of donor funding out there for structured programs. You need to have uh, the roadmap of how to the use roadmap of how to use the funds. Uh, and it has to work. And it has to work. It has to work. People yeah. need to be assisted. So if Kidesa can come up with those structures, <coughs> yes. that is one. For example, your papers that you are helping legal migrants uh, to get to get legal, you, you get two, three donors that will fund that. Yes. Ukuji uh, useme hapa tena, you want to provide business training to our mamambogas, okay. the small businesses, right? So if you start, if you have that kind of a program you're running, they don't have funding for that. So Kidesa can get funds based on is it delivering change. So what you're saying in a nutshell, Funding is not a problem. That's it is the easiest thing. The, the biggest thing is, is come up with a structure that works. Structure. Yes. Something, that's, that, something that is something that is helping people. You can execute them yes. whatever you're saying. Yes. This okay. Uh, well, on the issue, um, I, I don't know, uh, Bonakagil, uh, we'll give you a chance. You want to expand something on the, on the issue of immigration? Uh, on, the, on the funding? Or is it funding? Uh, on the f and and there's also, also something I want to add on immigration yes. that is connected again to... Um, the economic empowerment. Yes. There are so many Kenyan companies that are operating here. <coughs> and there can be a deliberate effort to provide jobs to Kenyans. And that might be a way of them getting illegal. Uh, the, 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 now, uh, when you say that, and uh, remember we're in South Africa, mm -hmm. and I'll just put it there, mm -hmm. uh, and South Africa is struggling with employment. Mm -hmm. Does it sit very well with the government oh. here? Mm -hmm. um, they remember South Africa themselves, they are struggling with employment. So if us are empowering, empowering ourselves, how do we sit now? Uh, anyway, we can't sit, but, we can't you, but, progress but, because of but, but someone you, else's problems. But, but you, do, you do what I do, you mix and match. Yes. So yeah. I, I, have, I have several South Africans working for me. So it uh, also brings value to the indigenous, the indigenous people. The indigenous uh, and and yes. Peter, just to add on that, yeah. remember uh, 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 a poor Kenyan here mm -hmm. is much of a burden even to a South African <laughs> than, than, than a Kenyan who is having something in the pocket. Yes. And a Kenyan who is, having, having, who is empowered, yeah. it's of more benefit even to the community here. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, um, we are running out of time. Eh? Okay. And I uh, just want you to briefly touch on uh, NWC. I think you have done that. And uh, co promotion or cooperation between the High Commission <coughs> and Diaspora. Just touch those briefly because there's something I really want you to touch before we close up. What I mean by that is that Kenyans need to know what the High Commission does. Yes. 
and we need to know uh, we need to have structural structured engagement <coughs> okay kama ni mambo ya consular ama ni mambo ya biashara it needs to be very we need to have very close cooperation okay we need to talk to them a lot so basically we also need to talk to the state department for diaspora affairs yes they need to know we are here they need to know our challenges and we talk to the government itself we need to talk mambo yetu lazima yanafika state house na tunafanya hivyo we have mp's friends we have governors friends you know so okay. we need to promote that okay i think the issue of nwc you have touched let yeah. me not let, yeah. let me not yeah. let's not go touch there um now on kedesa uh, whatsapp group main friend, uh, whatsapp group there were some allegations and since you are going to occupy um, a public office mm -hmm. just just say something about that you know no one is uh, yeah um first they are all lies okay. and uh, these are people i don't know and they are people who don't even know me okay uh, i don't know who is sponsoring that but uh, they are all lies uh, i will send you a video from that circle okay uh, the, the circle they are talking about first yeah. of all it's not a dead circle it's an it's an operating circle okay and yesterday they did a video and they they are asking us for help to put street rights All right. You will hear they will tell you I, uh, they will tell you. you I will give you the video you will listen from the beneficiaries I think we also approved the video Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's uh, it's all lies there's okay. nothing like that All right there's nothing like that. it's okay. all lies Now <coughs> you're standing you are vying the, for the seat a uh, 2 minute omba kura <laughs> <laughs> or support me Eh mimi nasema thank you thank you thank you What I'm saying is for so long tumekuwa hapa kama wa Kenya with no direction tumekoa leopards everybody hunting on their own and uh, in the process we have very few kills i want us to change from now going forward to, to a lions we hunt together and we will increase the kills so we have not had a very people servant <coughs> leadership uh, and that is the leadership i want to bring in plus the team that i'm going to work with and my message to the nwc Uh, it's not just about position let's not fight about <coughs> position let's fight with ideas how can we bring real change to kenya thank you very much okay that's it ah uh, we thank you mr b for coming to the forum and sharing with us your vision and what you have done we are really privileged to have you here and karibu sana once you go back to jobak salimiana and uh, we are really happy well uh, that was it with me pk from diaspora tv sa Just like Uncle Jack says, this is PK signing off. See you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Oh God of all creation. Bless this our land.